A Hollywood movie will premiere in a South Dakota town that is its namesake at the end of this month. The short-lived HBO series Deadwood only lasted for three seasons before being canceled 13 years ago. But streaming services have brought in new fans. And now, as Angela Kennedy shows you, in tonight's Eye on Colorland, the Black Hills town is preparing for its moment in the spotlight. This town is a sanctuary. Every man worth the name knows the value of being unreachable. The Wild West was resurrected in the HBO's award-winning series Deadwood 15 years ago. The story followed characters, both historical and fictional, as Deadwood grew from a camp in the 1870s to a full-fledged town and eventually part of the annexed Dakota Territory. The three-season series was an economic boost for the Black Hills tourist town. It was amazing the amount of people around the country that were so excited because they'd seen Deadwood on HBO and they were and uh, really excited to come and visit Deadwood. At first, they're always surprised that we don't have muddy streets and, and a boardwalk on Main Street. Mayor Dave Ruth Jr. is a fifth generation Deadwood resident. Personally, I'm a fan as well. Um, I was so disappointed when HBO decided to cut the series short after three years. Felt like there was a gap. Felt like there was more of a story to be told. Now that story will be told in the new HBO movie, which picks up a decade after the series' final season. Deadwood's characters are reunited to celebrate South Dakota's statehood. The movie is expected to be as colorful and rough and tumble as the show. There were some that were surprised, uh, didn't expect the blue language, but uh, most everyone is really proud because it tells our history. While some of the characters are fictional, many are based on real-life former Deadwood citizens, like Federal Marshal Seth Bullock and saloon owner Al Swearingen. The show's creators were careful to check with local historians for accuracy. Even when the series was off the air for years, people would come to town and they'd ask us about it, and they'd ask us what was real and what wasn't real, and they were always surprised to find out that a lot of the key characters were actually real people here in Deadwood, and a lot of their history you can find in our museums, you can find their burial places up in the Deadwood Cemetery. That cemetery has the remains of the two most well-known of all Deadwood outlaws, the graves of Wild Bill Hickok and Calamity Jane lie on top of a large hill overlooking the town. In the 1800s, the promise of gold in these hills brought pioneers to Deadwood. These days, people mine for treasure in the form of gambling. But the premiere of the May movie is expected to bring Deadwood's checkered past back to the forefront again. A series that gets its wrap-up movie that never happens, like ever. And um, this is kind of a little movie miracle to the HBO series. I'm coming for you, Marshall. Um, we still embrace our rich Wild West history, and it's a place where they can come and still feel like that outlaw. With Eye on Cuddleland, I'm Angela Kennecke.